Dylan, the United States is taking on the European Union over technology tariffs. The U.S. filing a complaint with the World Trade Organization claiming that the EU's tariffs of as much as 14 percent on high-tech goods like printers and flat panel computer monitors make them less competitive in the European market. But the EU is maintaining those products incorporate new technologies not listed in the 1996 WTO agreement, which eliminated tariffs on technology agreement. It's not just American products that are facing tough global competition. The U.S. workforce is coming to grips with a new generation of skilled and educated overseas labor. Striving to keep America great, the U.S. Council on Competitiveness is closely watching the developments. Deborah Wynn Smith is president of the council. She joins me now from the NASDAQ market site. Nice to have you on the program, Deborah. Welcome back. Oh, thank you, Maria. I'm delighted to be here. Good to see you. You and I were on a panel together recently that the Commerce Department hosted about keeping this country competitive and the issues that kept coming up education specifically k through 12 schooling uh number two innovation even though we are very innovative here we've got to stay there immigration major issue what are your solutions to some of these issues that seem to be barriers to keeping this country great well, I think the first thing we need to do is have a whole national strategy to invest in America. We need to invest in our people, we need to invest in our infrastructure, and we need to invest in our creativity because our country that's led the world in the transformation of global prosperity, you know, one third of all global growth came from the U.S. economy. We're not going to compete and thrive if we focus on lower skills, low wage commodities. So we have to have this innovation journey but it depends on people so that of course takes us to our education systems our workforce development and all the things we need to do to make america continue to be the leader in the world in technology and global prosperity you know it's interesting deborah i don't really hear any of the candidates talking about keeping america competitive and yet you've got this country growing in terms of its economy about one percent one and a half percent at best you've got india growing ten percent china growing twelve percent emerging economies getting stronger and stronger, all the money going to the Middle East because of oil. What are we doing about it? Well, one of the things we're doing about it is we're certainly trying to keep our R&D investments growing and at a high level. But the area where we're not doing very much, and it's a tremendous opportunity, is to deal with this energy challenge. You know, this is one of the great transformational times in human history. And the United States has the capacity, and we must for our own good, lead the innovation in the new technologies that are going to take us to clean, uh, sustainable energy, and also to drive the productivity of our industry. And that's an area that I think brings together so much of what we were talking about in Chicago about the importance of competitiveness, training our people, having the infrastructure, investing in America, and also being part of the global economy. So, so do you think that one of these candidates actually has a solution to, to do that? I mean, we don't have an energy policy. We don't have a dollar policy. Um, who's going to put this stuff on the table? Well, I hope as the uh, candidates now narrow down to two, that we will have some discussions on competitiveness. Uh, I know that the U.S. Council on Competitiveness has invited them to come to our big meeting in July that the CEO of Caterpillar, Jim Owens, and the president of Rensselaer are going to lead to talk about all of this. And uh, let's hope as we go forward into the election, they talk about some sensible policies, not shutting our borders, not closing in. You know, there's no great nation in the world that has not been a traitor nation. And that's one of the areas we're concerned about at the council. Uh, and you mentioned the EU tariffs. Uh, this is really now a non-tariff barrier that they're putting on advanced technology. And, you know, these trade arrangements that are so important for our country really grow jobs in this country. So I hope the job strategy and immigration, energy, all these issues will be looked at in how they're going to make a better life for all Americans as well as global prosperity. Deborah, real quick, what's the one country you think that uh, you're worried about that actually is taking a, a bit of an edge from America? Real quick. Well, I think China and India are concerns, but I also think Brazil, these are great countries, right. but it's a, not a zero-sum game, Maria. We want global prosperity, but we want Americas to continue to lead and prosper. Good to have you on the program. Thanks <laughs> Thank so much. You. Deborah Wynn Smith, President, Council on Competitiveness. Dylan, we're uh, rounding down the mountain here. Final stretch. We sure are. Uh, looking at uh, just a few minutes ago, the market uh, holding on to a very modest gain here, plus 26. The